hey guys welcome back to USMLE team uh, today's topic is trigeminal neuralgia uh, before starting this I would request you to subscribe to our channel all or none law let me start with this and please do not forget to tell your friends about our channel through email Facebook or Twitter account let me start with this trigeminal neuralgia Trigeminal neuralgia, also known as tic dolorex, is a distinctive facial pain syndrome that may become recurrent and chronic. It's a idiopathic. The cause is not known. It is characterized by unilateral pain following the sensory distribution of cranial nerve phi, that is trigeminal, typically radiating to the maxillary or a mandibular area. So it starts from the ear and spreads to the jaw and to the eyes so it's a very painful and okay and is often often accompanied by the brief facial spasm or a tick the number of attacks may vary from less than one per day to 12 or more per hour and up to hundreds per day so look at the frequency in your assembly examination they might ask you this and confuse you with the other types of headache like cluster headache, migraineous headache. So try to know the clinical features okay? and definitely you will be able to differentiate trigeminal neuralgia from other types of headache like cluster, migraineous and tension. Triggers of the pain attacks including the following, chewing talking or smiling sometimes they can give you the history that the patient was in the meeting he was excessive talking or he was in the airplane and he was achieving something like that so try to concentrate on these points achieving talking or smiling drinking cold or hot fluids touching shaving brushing the teeth blowing the nose encountering cold air from an open automobile window so what you need to look for if he has given if they give you the history of a pain typical of typical of trigeminal neuralgia try to search for the cause for his pain if you find it then you are almost correct the pain localization is as follows patient can localize their pain precisely the pain commonly runs along the line dividing either the mandibular and the maxill maxillary nerves or the mandibular and ophthalmic portion of the nerve. In 60% of cases, the pain shoots from the corner of the mouth to the angle of jaw. In 30% remaining patients, the pain jots from upper lip or a canine teeth to the eye and the eyebrows sparing the orbit itself. So when there is a pain in the jaw, the other differential diagnosis can be myocardial infarction. So you need to differentiate this disease from myocardial infarction. In less than 5% of cases, pain involves ophthalmic branch of the facial nerve. The pain has the following qualities. Look at the qualities because the qualities is going to differentiate this syndrome that is a trigeminal neuralgia from myocardial infarction. So this is going to help you. Characteristically severe, paroxysmal, lancinating, commencing with the sensation of electric shock in the affected area. Crescendos in less than 20 seconds to an excruciating discomfort felt deep in the face, then contorting the patient's expression begins to fade within seconds only to give away give way to a burning ache lasting seconds to minute pain fully abates between the attacks even when they are severe and frequent look at this feature this is very important for usmle examination the pain fully uh, sorry attacks may provoke patient to grim grimace wins or make an aversive head movements as if trying to escape the pain thus producing an obvious movements or a tics hence the term tic dolorex 
the other diagnostic clues are as follows patients carefully avoid rubbing the face or shaving a trigger area in contrast to other facial pain syndromes in which they massage the face or apply heat or ice so look at this if in us simile examination they might give you and they might tell you that he doesn't want to touch his face because of this pain that's very important point you need to know many patients try to hold their face still while talking to avoid precipitating an attack because the pain is so severe that's why they avoid movement of the face that's why they stop talking in contrast to migraine pain attacks of trigeminal neuralgia rarely occurs during the sleep very 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 important point okay no now i'm going to discuss about the test no laboratory electrophysiological or radiological testing is routinely indicated for the diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia as the patient with a characteristic history and a normal neurological examination may be treated without further workup so what you need to do you need to diagnose it clinically so if you want to diagnose it clinically then you need to know the clinical features very well that's why i told you all the clinical features in detail there is a criteria for the diagnosis from international headache society are as follows a is a paroxysmal attacks of the pain lasting from a fraction of a second to 2 minutes affecting one or more divisions of the trigeminal neuralgia nerve sorry trigeminal nerve and fulfilling the criteria b and c what is b b is a pain has at least one of the following characteristics either it is intense sharp superficial or stabbing second precipitating precipitated from triggers area or by trigger factors c attacks stereotype in the individual patients d no clinically evident neurological deficit in these patients the patient suffering from a trigeminal neuralgia they don't have any sensory defect means sensory function is very normal in these patients so one of the thing what you need to remember to differentiate it from other types of neurological problems e not attributed to another disorder guys have a look at this once again how do you treat it says the pain is very severe so you cannot use ansets what you need to do the first and the best drug is carbamazepine if carbamazepine does not work then go ahead with the phenytoin gabapentin or a baclofen in usmle examination what they will give you in a first step 3 especially they will test your management that's why they give the history of a trigeminal neuralgia and tell you that the patient is taking carbamazepine but still his symptoms are not going away so how do you treat it so this point will confuse you you might think that this is not a case of trigeminal neuralgia because it is not it is not uh, recovered or treated by carbamazepine that's why it's not a trigeminal neuralgia that's a wrong thing what okay that's a wrong thing if the carbamazepine is a carbamazepine is a standard drug if it does not work go ahead with the phenytoin carbapentin or baclofen if among three if you have to choose one go ahead with the phenytoin okay what do you do if phenytoin carbapentin and baclofen fails you have to give injection of alcohol into the trigeminal neuralgia or do the surgery what is the cause for a trigeminal neuralgia is a compression of trigeminal nerve from the blood vessels so just relieve the trigeminal nerve from these these blood vessels so surgery is the ultimate and the best treatment for the trigeminal neuralgia hey guys i'm done with the topic on a trigeminal neuralgia i hope i'm leaving you with a good information and definitely i'm sure you will do best 
and if you have any feedback regarding this disease any updates or anything from a journal please update us on thank you so much for watching my video and take care love you all